make your own movie picture show. Here's all you'll need. Just one piece of wood, block of wood, large or small. You'll need a cork, which has straight sides, two large safety pins, a paper clip, a straight pin, a drawing pin, little piece of cardboard, and four pieces of white cardboard, all the same size. Oh, you'll also need a safe cutter and some marking pens for doing a little bit of drawing. And here's how you go about it. You start off with the paper clip and you straighten it out. Very easy to bend, aren't they? You've done this many times, I'm sure. Straighten it out like that and straighten it out again until it's almost in a straight line, except for that last little piece. And you're going to use that for a handle. You use it for a handle by bending that part backwards. And you can see now that I can use it as a winder. There we are, that was very easy to do. The next bit is a little bit more difficult, so I've done part of it there. I've made a little hill that comes up from the winder and then down again very steeply. It takes a minute or so to do that. Then straighten the rest of it. You've now got a hill that goes around when you wind your winder. Why am I doing that? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm doing that so that I can turn the cork. In order to turn the cork, I'll need to push that through the centre of the cork. This takes several minutes of very careful, slow work, just working your way through the centre of the cork, keeping the paper clip straight so that it emerges from the centre of the other end. And when you do that, you'll find that you have a little winder that now turns the cork. Now, besides that, you'll need to do something else to the cork. With your safe cutter, you cut along the length of the cork in just a few millimetres, like that, and you turn it all the way around and do the same thing on the other side. Then you turn it halfway, make a cut there, turn it around and another cut there. So you have four cuts at right angles to one another. And then you take your four little pieces of card and you start drawing pictures on them. Now, you can draw anything you like, but they should be pictures that are almost the same. For example, there's a little person standing on the ground. In the next one, I've made it just slightly different. The person is now crouching down. In the next one, the person is starting to jump up in the air. And in the next one, that person has leapt off the ground. We're back to the first one again, where the person is standing normally. And so we can go round and round and round. That's the basis of your little movie picture device. Now, those little cards need to be pushed into the cork. And this, for, to do this, you have to be very careful so that you don't crease the cards. Make sure that the head goes towards the cork. There we are. And just push it in, slide it in, so that it's held in place just a few millimetres. There it is there. And if you use the right sort of card, you should find that it, it will flick but jump back into place. Now, I've already prepared one. It took me about five or ten minutes, but here it is. And I coloured the pictures as well, just for fun. There we are. You can see the four pictures there on the four cards. You can see the little turning device and now you'll see why I said you need a straight pin as well. That's so that when I turn that there, the little hill pushes against the straight pin and keeps the cork moving around in a circle smoothly. To assemble it all, you need to have a holder. This is where your block of wood comes in and your safety pins. This one's a little heavier than the other block of wood, but a small block will work. You open up the safety pins at an angle like that and push them firmly into the block. I actually made some little holes with a nail first of all so I could push them in firmly and I've used a rubber band just to steady the whole device. Not absolutely essential but it helps a little. There's the other piece of cardboard, the thick card. I've put that in the front of the block with the drawing pin. Now all I need to do is to push the little cork part through the middle. First of all the handle goes through here and then the other end which was originally straight but you'll notice I've put a slight kink in it goes around there and there believe it or not is our movie picture device ready to go. Let's watch it now as we check it out. There we are, first picture, pink person, yellow head, crouching, second picture, starting to leap into the air, third picture, leaping into the air with arms outstretched, fourth picture, coming down again, back to the first picture, crouching, and if we turn it around, we get the man leaping up and down in the air. Now you know as well as I do that you're seeing four separate pictures. There's no real motion at all, no movement at all. But when we move it rapidly, what we find is those pictures blur together in our brains, each one is held there for a fraction of a second, and we think we see something that's moving. And it's a lot of fun. You're making your very own movies. And this sort of thing is not new by any means. In fact, around about the turn of the century, these devices, or something like this, were very, very popular. They were called mutoscopes and your grandma and grandpa might have known them. Here's one that had not four pictures in it, but hundreds of pictures, hundreds of cards. And they weren't stick figures like mine, they were actually photographs. The way you operated it 
was to take a coin. In those days, the most commonly used coin was the penny, which is worth about a cent. And you place this in a slot here in the mutoscope, and you start to turn the handle. And as you turn the handle, that little spindle inside turns the big drum. And you look through here, and you see your very own movie for about 30 seconds. Well, that was our Curiosity Show collection, 20 Things to Make and Do. We hope that you enjoyed it, and here are the people who helped us make it. Thank you.